after you build a few computers, you get to the point where it's more about the aesthetics and creating a work of art than it is a functioning machine. And that's kind of the point I was at when I wanted to upgrade both of my machines with some upgraded parts and kind of swap some stuff around again. And this is what this video is about. Tech tip of the day, when you build a brand new computer and then reinstall OBS, make sure you go in and set your recording settings for the video to MP4 and don't leave it at MBK. Because when you bring it into Adobe Premiere, it doesn't like that file and it won't recognize it. And then you won't have to record everything all over again. Please visit 68bravo.com. Check out the current selection of merchandise there. Uh, proceeds from there help to support this channel. Thank you. If you're into gaming, you can join us every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on twitch.tv at 68bravo. We'll see you there. If you caught my last video, you know I finally got my hands on one of the 3070 cards. I uh, ended up getting a ROG Strix 3070. And I love the card. It's a, it's a big beefy card. And since I put it in my gaming machine, um, I decided I wanted to upgrade my creation machine and then put it in there and start gaming with that. Because uh, basically, you know, the Ryzen 9 3950X is much more powerful than the i9. I know not for gaming, but with everything else, it just blows it away. So I wanted my more powerful card to be in the more powerful computer. So we'll cover the uh, parts of that real quick. So obviously the Ryzen 9 3950X is what powers that CPU. And with the uh, Corsair Dominator, uh, I just, I love this RAM. I love the, you know, what you can do with the individual peg like uh, RGB lights that are on there and different stuff you can do. Uh, it's just my favorite RAM right now. I upgraded the board that was in there. I had the, uh, it was a used one that I got traded for. It was the um, Corsair Hero 6 uh, and it did support the 3950X once I upgraded all the BIOS and everything. But I wanted something that I could possibly upgrade the chip later on if I wanted to get like a 5950. Um, but so I went with the ROG Strix E Gaming, which is an X570 board. Uh, so I pretty much this computer is a Strix themed machine. And as I mentioned earlier, I got the, uh, oops, let me get it on camera here, the ROG Strix 3070 which I love and to cool the 3950X, I upgraded to the Kraken Z63, which has the, uh, the screen on it. I know the, the X63, which I also have in my, that I put in my other machine, uh, you know, they do the same exact thing. You're paying an, uh, an extra hundred dollars for that screen on the Z version. Uh, but I thought it was worth it because you can customize that screen to whatever you want on there. And when you're going for looks as well as performance, you know, you, it's just a no brainer to, to throw that little added extra feature on there. Now with the now streaming machine that used to be the gaming machine, I have the i9 processor in there, the 9900K. We've got, uh, it's an NZXT motherboard. I think it's the 390 board, uh, not the new ones. It's the older one. And then we got 32 gigs of G skill Ram and for the GPU at the 2060 super, which is also a, uh, ROG Strix brand. So I, I'm, I'm really liking those cards and I think. I prefer to stay with those cards in the future for any purchases. I just like how they look and they I mean they already come overclocked and they're they're ready to go. So those are the upgrades I did as far as hardware on these machines. Now the uh the 
streaming machine has an 850 watt power supply and on the gaming and creation machine i've got a thousand watt power supply in there so in case you're curious about my power supplies and then i've got the uh nv nvme drives in both machines as well as the larger uh you know the old spinning drives to to store stuff on but i've got one terabyte drives for uh the m.2 on both of these and and then then we've got a four terabyte spinning drive on this one for saving recordings and doing stuff and i got a two terabyte on the other one so each machine in its own right is you know is is more or just enough for anyone to to have um but i was really going for I, I really wanted to deck them out and have them look real nice so i won't get into you know i'm not going to do graphs and charts and specifications and all that stuff these these are great machines they're they're powerful i can do some other videos on on testing and stuff like that i just wanted to get into the aesthetics and make them look good and they're essentially you know a, a piece of art on your desk and that's you know once you get into building a little more that's kind of what you go for you're going for that the aesthetics you're going for the the looks of the machine and how you want it to look and and be a showpiece on your desk and fortunately i have two of them now so i created a, a little music montage and i'll play that for you and enjoy and check them out powerful machine with the 3070 card in it i went with the nzxt 710i case um, i wanted the bigger case more room because if you saw my last video when i had the card in the elite case i mean th there was maybe a quarter inch between the radiator and the card left in that machine or in the case so i wanted to do a push pull configuration on my radiator with the 3950x card because it's it runs hotter than my i9 i wanted better cooling for it so i wanted fans on each side of the radiator two fans 
pulling air in and two fans pulling air out. So we get a better airflow and, and better cooling with the push pull method. In this case allowed me to do that and still have plenty of room for the card. There's still a good uh, inch, inch and a quarter between the fans and the, and the big card here. So that's why I went with the bigger case with that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, it, if you're watching this video, you're interested in computers or possibly building a computer or you've built a computer. If you want to upgrade, do some stuff to your computer, um, you know, have at it, have fun. Uh, to me, it's fun. I like to do it and I like to share these videos with others. So stay safe and we'll see you next time on the next video. Have a good one.